could you tell me, uh, like, tell us a little bit more about who you are in terms of working on this? Yeah, uh, so my name's Sean. Uh, I've been at Cruise for about three and a half years, uh, and I've been working with robots for about uh, eight years now, I think. And I lead the, the perception team at Cruise, and that goes everything from uh, object detection all the way down through tracking and prediction of all the different objects around us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what are the some problems machine learning is well suited for, as well as the very difficult challenges as your left unsolved? Yeah. Some of the challenges for machine learning uh, include object detection, uh, which is a pretty uh, common problem. Uh, even outside self-driving, uh, tracking of different objects over time, and then in particular predicting what they will do in the future. Um, understanding what someone will do in the future is, is a super difficult problem, uh, and that one is definitely uh, an unsolved problem right now. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's a very difficult problem not only because uh, people are very unpredictable, but also because uh, we as an actor in the scene can influence uh, what other people will do. If we accelerate or slow down, we can, we can influence the probability of somebody uh, turning in front of us or stepping in front of us. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's, that's a problem that's still definitely left unsolved right now. Yeah. Um, like, um, by what problems we have solved so far in terms of this? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't think anything in self-driving is fully solved yet. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Otherwise, there'd be lots of cars out there. <laughs> um, but I think object detection is one that's a little bit more mature. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's a bit more common within academia, uh, a little bit more mature as a research field. Um, but something like predicting what other actors will do is something that's quite unique to self-driving cars. It's something we see, see a, a lot less of uh, in the literature. Oh, I see. So it's more uh, almost down for object um, recognition, but more difficult on um, prediction. Yeah, correct. Um, yeah. Um, what are your ideas about challenges and the advantages of driving in San Francisco here and uh, how close you are leverage this data experience to accelerate the learning and build the technology in this field? Yeah, driving driving San Francisco is very, very challenging. Uh, we see a huge amount uh, of uh, very rich and, and diverse data set that we're exposed to driving in, in San Francisco. Um, and. Uh, that diversity of experience allows us to build a really nice data set which uh, allows our model to generalize across all the different things that we see in the world. And that uh, diversity of data is really, really powerful within uh, a machine learning system because the more different experiences you can expose your ML setup to, the more it can learn about what it might possibly see in the world. Yeah, uh, my final question would be, how do you preview the future of self-driving car? Like, how many years can we um, expect this available to the public? Yeah, uh, I think I think the self-driving car future is 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 coming. Uh, it's only a matter of time. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that it will probably start a little slow, mm -hmm. uh, maybe just within cities. Uh, you know, we're starting to see little bits and pieces of it with driver assist. Uh, not a lot of full self-driving just yet. Uh, I think as it starts to get up to the level of human. Safety will sort of see a transition as we see more and more of those products. But I think there's still some, you know, at least a couple of years before uh, that's, that's going to be very commonplace just yet. Uh, because at, at the end of the day, this is all gated by safety. And until a product is safe enough, uh, can drive as, at least as well as a human, if not safer than a human, uh, we, we won't see them on the road uh, without a human behind the wheel until they're, until they're safe enough. Really looking forward to it. Thanks for making it happen. Great. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you for